What exactly is antimatter? What happens when matter and antimatter come into contact? How did scientists first stumble on this mysterious phenomenon? And why is it that we don't bump into antimatter in our daily lives? Prepare to unravel the answers to these captivating questions and fasten your seatbelts as we take you on a thrilling adventure to explore the extraordinary potential of antimatter. Stay with us till the very end to discover how this elusive substance could revolutionize space travel and unlock the deepest secrets of our majestic universe. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin, let's delve into the fundamental concept of antimatter. Antimatter is composed of antiparticles, which are counterparts of the familiar particles that make up the matter around us, electrons, protons, and neutrons. Antiparticles possess the same mass as their corresponding particles, but have the opposite charge and other quantum properties. An antimatter universe would appear indistinguishable from our own, governed by nearly symmetrical laws of physics. When matter and antimatter interact, they annihilate, creating an explosion. For example, when a positron encounters an electron, both are annihilated, producing two X-ray energy photons. The scarcity of antimatter in the universe prevents constant bombardment with X-rays and gamma rays. If you met your anti-self, both of you would annihilate, releasing energy equivalent to 2,500 megatons. Antimatter could fuel powerful spaceship engines if we could produce and store it safely. Currently, particle accelerators generate antiprotons for high-energy physics experiments. In summary, antimatter shares many similarities with matter, but differences in charge and quantum properties result in fascinating interactions and applications in the field of physics. Loving the video or learning something new? Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content you won't want to miss. Now that we understand what antimatter is, let's explore its fascinating discovery by physicists. The tale of antimatter begins in 1928 when British physicist Paul Dirac made a groundbreaking discovery. While working on an equation that combined quantum mechanics with the special theory of relativity, Dirac stumbled upon a fascinating result. Electrons with negative energy traveling backward in time. A less confident physics student might have turned red with embarrassment and redone the math. But Dirac stood by his calculations, choosing to reinterpret this puzzling solution as an anti-electron possessing positive energy and moving forward in time. A few years later, in 1932, experimental physicist Carl Anderson observed the positron, confirming Dirac's ideas and propelling both scientists to Nobel Prize winning fame. Anderson discovered the positron within showers of subatomic particles generated by high-energy cosmic rays interacting with atoms in Earth's atmosphere. This remarkable discovery demonstrated how significant advancements in physics are often achieved by exploring the unknown and embracing unconventional ideas. Ever wondered where Anderson's positrons came from? These elusive particles were found in atmospheric showers created by high-energy cosmic rays mingling with Earth's atmosphere. The positron's prediction and discovery showcase how major breakthroughs in physics often unfold. Anderson used a cloud chamber to observe positrons. As particles zipped through, they left a bubbly trail behind. With a magnetic field, the particle's path curved based on its charge. Anderson's positrons bent like electrons, but in reverse. Curiously, these unique tracks were seen years before during Dirac's prediction, but nobody pursued them. Anderson's persistence led to the positron's confirmation, echoing Dirac's boldness in reinterpreting negative energy electrons, unveiling a whole new layer of the universe. But why is antimatter so rare in our universe? The answer lies in the fact that it is produced through unusual nuclear reactions that yield only minuscule amounts. The antimatter we manage to obtain consists mainly of subatomic particles, such as positrons, antiprotons, antineutrons, and antimesons. Antihydrogen, the antimatter counterpart of hydrogen, has been created and studied in laboratories. 
albeit under highly challenging conditions that require complete isolation to prevent annihilation in a burst of gamma rays. Beyond theoretical interest, antimatter also serves practical purposes. Positron Emission Tomography PET, scans, a crucial medical imaging technique for detecting tumors relying on the emission of positrons from radioactive sugars that accumulate at tumor sites. The interaction between positrons and electrons in the patient's body produces energy that specialized equipment can map, providing detailed images of internal structures. Despite our growing knowledge of antimatter, one perplexing question remains. Why is the universe predominantly composed of matter, not antimatter? This is known as the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem, and its resolution demands an investigation into the fundamental principles of cosmology and particle physics. One possible explanation for the matter-antimatter asymmetry is based on a theoretical framework proposed by physicist Andrei Sakharov over half a century ago. According to this framework, the universe began with equal amounts of matter and antimatter created during the Big Bang. In the moments after the Big Bang, the universe was an intense mix of particles, antiparticles, and radiation. Particles and antiparticles destroyed each other, giving birth to energetic photons. As the universe expanded and cooled, photons could no longer create particle-antiparticle pairs. This set the stage for a unique phenomenon, the violation of baryon number conservation. Particles and antiparticles have opposed baryon numbers, which should be conserved in high-energy reactions. However, the scarcity of antimatter in the universe suggests that baryon number conservation is violated under specific conditions, leading to the observed matter-antimatter imbalance. This violation occurs at a rate of about one part in a billion. The standard model of particle physics doesn't explain this violation, so a deeper understanding of the matter-antimatter asymmetry will require new physics. A key concept in this quest is CP violation, when the laws of physics change as charges are reversed and reactions are viewed in a mirror. CP violation is crucial for generating more particles than antiparticles in the early universe. Since the 1980s, researchers have observed CP violation in reactions involving K-mesons, K-ons, and other particles. However, these glimpses don't fully explain the matter-antimatter asymmetry, leaving scientists eager for more experiments to unravel this cosmic mystery. The extraordinary potential of antimatter lies in its ability to release tremendous amounts of energy upon contact with matter. Harnessing this energy could propel spacecraft to unprecedented speeds, enabling us to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system and beyond. Antimatter-powered spaceships could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and lead to extraordinary discoveries about our universe's origin and evolution. However, the challenges of producing, storing, and controlling antimatter in a safe and efficient manner are significant. Antimatter is difficult to produce in large quantities and its storage requires complete isolation to prevent destructive annihilation with ordinary matter Despite these obstacles, pioneering researchers are steadily making progress toward mastering the art of antimatter manipulation. If successfully harnessed, antimatter propulsion would enable spacecraft to reach Mars in just a few weeks, compared to the six to eight months required by current chemical propulsion systems. Trips to the outer planets such as Jupiter or Saturn would be reduced from years to mere months this dramatic reduction in travel time would not only accelerate our exploration of the cosmos, but also mitigate the risks associated with long-duration spacecrafts, such as radiation exposure and the detrimental effects of microactivity on astronaut health. Beyond space travel, the study of antimatter could also yield profound insight into the fundamental nature of the universe as researchers continue to investigate the interactions between matter and antimatter, they may uncover new clues about the origins of matter-antimatter asymmetry and other deep cosmic mysteries. The pursuit of antimatter's secrets is an ongoing endeavor, 
with major particle physics laboratories like CERN in Geneva, Switzerland, dedicated to exploring this enigmatic phenomenon. As resources and efforts continue to be devoted to this research, it is only a matter of time before we unravel the remaining mysteries of the matter-antimatter asymmetry and unlock the full potential of this extraordinary substance. In conclusion, our journey through the captivating world of antimatter has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. From its origins, in the equations of a brilliant physicist, to its potential to revolutionize space travel and unlock the deepest secrets of our universe, antimatter has truly captivated our imagination and spurred scientific innovation. As we continue to explore this elusive substance and its potential applications, we eagerly anticipate the new discoveries and insights that await us. So buckle up and stay tuned for the next exciting chapter in the story of antimatter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.